Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut, Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Welcome to Shortcuts a Lot 5. You can see right up here, this is the new Shortcuts a Lot 5. This is the regular edition. Okay, um, what I want to do uh, is talk about the PES feature that uh, the new 5 now has. Um, I've been working with this actually for quite some time now, but this is a really exciting feature. Um, you can import uh, a lot of the different stitch files. Um, understand if your PES does not import, go try to grab a different one like the sew files and, and other ones because a lot of times that works. You can grab that one instead. Understand your machine is not trying to read the sew file. Um, it's reading an FCM still and I'll show you what I'm talking about in this video. Okay, but what we're doing here is we are merely grabbing the, we'll just use PES, uh, we're grabbing the PES file, we are importing it, so we are using the SVG import button. Uh, we're grabbing that, we're putting it on our page, then we are going to inflate in shortcut slot right in here, and then we are going to export it, okay, we're going to export it in an FCM so that the scan and cut can read it to actually cut our fabric, okay? So we need to ensure that what is exporting is correct, and we are going to compare it to an Embrilliance file that I made, inflated to two millimeters, because my dead gum 770 requires a gigantic file in order for it to capture the fabric correctly, okay? So here is a little import, okay? So I went up here to SVG import, Okay, and look, they all pop up here. Well, I went and I grabbed the seven, 5x7 seven, uh, PES file. But you can grab, oh, let's see. Let's do the, let's see if a VIP will come in. Yep, the VIP comes in too. So you can grab different files. It does not have to be a PES because it is not remaining in that PES format. You will change it to an FCM absolutely amazing okay one thing i will tell you is as soon as you plant that sucker on your mat we're going to pull it apart but let me show you what happens okay it is the stitch file see that we cannot have that so we're going to go and we're going to do something to remove those stitches okay or the appearance that we're removing them first though you want to just click don't drag and highlight click so tap on it, then pull one away. There's usually a couple layers, okay? Click and pull, see how many there are. Okay, all right, so now I just, I just need one layer. So we're going to click and delete that. I need this little layer right here and right here. All right, so let's take a look at this. What does this little guy look like? Well, that's smooth. All right, we're already heading down the right path. However, if that wasn't smooth, I will show you how to fix that in a minute, okay? All right, so now I need to make this the size of that. Man, oh buddy, oh buddy, I am way off. How in the heck can I do that? Well, I can do this individually or I can do it at the same time. Let's do individual effects. Let's do a shadow layer. If you noticed, I have changed my screen here. Hang on. I have changed my screen here to read in millimeters. Well, how in the heck do you do that, Jen? Come over here on your paper tab. Units. I went from inches to millimeters because I need two millimeters of inflation. Whew. Okay. Now everything that I measure will be in millimeters. Okay, so shadow layer. Aha, all right here. I'm going to put two there. And I'm going to click enter. <gasps> Ooh, it gave me that. So I'm going to click OK. All right. I'm going to click this one. And I'm going to click two. Enter. Yeah, that looks pretty good too. Okay. So now, whoops. Gotta click on it Jen that's the top part and that's the top part so I don't really need those but I'm not going to delete them yet just in case my measurements were off 
So let's see here. Okay, so this one looks like it may be off a little bit, but this one I'm pretty sure looks like it's smack on. Yes. Okay, so let me tap that one. We'll do object, arrange, send to back. I would say that thing is spot on. So that one's okay. Let's take a look at this one. Because this, this one, I need to figure out how to make it even. Let's do that and that. Well, you know what? That's about as gosh dang even as you can get. Let's blow it up a little bit. You only have a tiny little bit overhanging. And this will be in the fabric. And understand, you usually have a satin stitch that covers that. But let's send this to the back just to make sure. Okay. So you do. You have that that covers that. Let's try to bring this down a wee bit. Oh, there you go. So now that is just about perfect. The only difference is, is you have some points here. Okay. So let's move this to the back and check again. Object arrange sent to back. Yes. So actually, I am extremely happy with that. Oops. Click on the gray one, Jen. Yes. So that is just about as perfect as you can get, including the points on the end. So that is how you can make your cut file in fabric when utilizing Shortcuts a lot five to capture your cut file. Isn't this awesome? Totally amazed me. I asked for this for quite a while and I'm happy we got it now. So you don't actually need a program if you don't have one like in Brilliance Essentials. Um, understand this is not, <clears throat> excuse me, this is not a digitizing program. So you can't take this file and digitize it so that it embroiders. You're taking an embroidery file and making the applique cut file out of it, okay, so that the scan and cut can read it. So now what I would do is I would take, okay, because this is the cut file. I can delete this one, okay. I can delete this one. So here's my cut file. What I will do is position it. Then I will come here, File, Export. I would come up here, find my USB stick. Okay, so let's, we'll pretend that that's my USB stick. Come down here, Scan and Cut FCM. They actually named Scan and Cut this time. Before it used to just say FCM. And I will put Hedge, H-E-D-G-E, -E, Hog, Cut. And then I would hit enter and that would save it to my stick. Okay. All right. And that's as easy as a pie. Pretty amazing. All right. So now let's take a look at if you bring in a file that has some rough edges. Okay. Now here's a file that I made a long, long time ago. And I've lost the... Uh, um, SVG that I made for it so I no longer have it but if I wanted to make a cut file out of this well how would I go about doing that well I could always come up here to effects my shadow layer because you can see the stitch lines they look like little hairy cactuses okay I can make a small shadow layer and see what that gives me. Well, they still look like little hairy cactuses. Okay. And that guy's even got a hole in his armpit. Well, path, simplify. Knock that up to 100. Okay. Click OK. Let's go again. Path simplify. We're going to knock it from 473 down to 274. 
always watch to make sure that it is not changing your file drastically. 274 to 250, okay? And I'm going to actually remove this one because I don't like all the holes that are present in it. I'm going to bring this one back and do some path simplify with this. Okay, simplify. Always make sure that this number is set to 100. Okay, okay. Yep, see the little hairy cactuses starting to go away. Path, simplify. Let's click OK. And you'll hear me. I actually tap on this when I'm done. Keep going. When I stop is when this number and this number are fairly close. Okay, let's do it again. And I'm going to keep going, okay? Because there's still quite a bit of difference between those two numbers. Tap, path, simplify. Oh, big, huge differences. But also make sure that my design is not changing. Path, simplify. Still big, huge differences in those numbers. Okay. And if it does, if something changes, like I'm not liking the way this guy's head is looking, I will come back in and I will node edit things in and out. And like this little thing right here, I don't like. But I will keep working this, okay, until it gets to where I want. Oh, this little thing's starting to disappear down here. This is how you can take a file that you have made please don't do this to an embroiderer's file that you've bought because that's not very kind to do but if you've made a file and you want to get it back this is how you can do it okay now that they've allowed us to import pes files okay so i have 77 and 76. that's about it look that little blob down here is gone his head is kind of gone too, so I need to come back in here, do some node editing to fix all the things that are off, like the hands. I need to kind of fix those up and some other things. But look, there are no stitch lines present. There's no more cactus people, okay? They're a lot better. So some quick node editing will fix all of this, okay? All right, guys. If you have any questions, the only place you'll find me is on my Facebook group page, Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help, and that is on Facebook. All right, guys, hopefully this helps you. I will be putting out the videos for all of the new features uh, in Surecuts sure A Lot 5. Understand, I only use the Scan and Cut, so I use Surecuts sure A Lot as it is based on that cutter. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys. Hopefully you have a great day.